This is how... This is how Republicans think, or Fox News thinks America is, okay? This is how, like, they think every leftist is. I'm saying it. Do you think exes can date each other again? No, I don't. And I'm sure there's someone in the chat who's going to tell me that I'm wrong and whatever, but no, I don't think so. I think the main reason why your relationship fell apart is the main reason why it's going to fall, fall apart again. Match the kink oh, to a stranger it, lineup. Just that? I have this and then the pause and the tail. Does the tail clip on or does it stick in? <laughs> oh my god! That's a real question. It hooks on a belt. Okay. Hello. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know what you're doing here today? I know I'm guessing something, but that's all I know. Do you have a kinky side? I have a wild side, yeah. You got any kinks? Any kinks? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Like, how freaky do you get in the bedroom? Toys, feathers, whips kind of thing. Are we doing this on camera right now? <laughs> first of all, buy me dinner first, dear God. I was asked to try this blood play once. Vampires are sad. Isn't that assuming people don't change? Brother, what the fuck do you mean? Why, did you break up with your ex because they like did a crime or something? Like, why are you guys saying that people can change? Okay, they can, but like, there's also a million, a billion other people that you could, a billion other fucking people that you could date. Shut the fuck up. Bro thinks he's Cardi. Sexy and I'm super into that. Sure, but the blood, eh. So today, you're going to match kink person. Where? Am I gonna have a list of kinks? You are. These are the, uh, the kinks that you're gonna be matching to individuals today. Okay. Making out is confusing. That's a kink. I like to make out. Asphyxiation. You know what it means? No. It's like breath play. I think that's kind of hot. Electro play. That sounds like it could be a good time. Pregnancy. I don't know who would pick this. Pregnancy, that's where you lose me. Do your thing. As long as there's consent, right? Knife play seems like wild as shit. I don't know. Be scared to do any of that. Pet play. Can you explain what this is? It involves being a pet. Role playing in outfits? Yeah. Interesting. Immediately the first thing that came into my mind is like having sex and then like your pets. The fetus can't consent. Oh. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No. No. Is this a fucking pro-life chat? What the fuck do you mean the fetus can't consent? Explain. It's in the room. And your pet is a joke. Thank God. Okay, when everybody's ready, head on out there. Hello. Put, I'm trying to put two and two together. <laughs> How you guys doing? Good. Do you think it's immoral to have sex to a pregnant woman? But why would it be immoral to have sex to a pregnant woman, Rigitoni? That wasn't a joke. That one is like a legitimate question. Like that person is like actually asking. Sex with sex to pregnant woman. Hi. Hey. What's your name? I'm Rez. Anton, nice to meet you. Can you give me a 360? Let me get a full, full turn around. Pet play. Okay. Done. Okay. Can you say this word for me? Asphyxiation. Mm. You're already giving me that with the choker vibe. You have a lot of stuff happening around your neck. Pet play. That's what's <laughs> really like getting me right now. Pet play. No. What is your sexual orientation? If you don't mind me asking. Pansexual. I have a girlfriend and a boyfriend. If that helps at all. Right now, currently? <laughs> right now, right now, currently. Mm. Classic Seattle. Classic Seattle. Also same as like Portland, Oregon. Oh, hey, Riz. Do you play video games at all? I'm a really big horror nerd. In said horror games, what is yeah. uh, your weapon of choice? The more unconventional stuff when they like put like a chainsaw on the end of like a big pole or something like that. <laughs> How long have you had your kink? About three to four years. Is there like movies or books that you read that inspired you for this honestly it was more hearing about experiences that like internet friends have had this is really hard uh so the collar gives me pet play like you might like to be like walked on a leash or something like that okay like you might enjoy that or you might enjoy doing that to other people okay let's test this out <laughs> what you mean i don't want to be walked i'm good <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I'm good pet play Knife play for sure. Go ahead. Dang, all right. <laughs> all right, next victim. Uh, you gonna give me a 360 as well. All right, okay. You're just so chill. Let Thank me see you. it. Bro, this is straight up the most Seattle fucking lineup. What is happening? Why are there no Stevedores? Where are the HVAC specialists? Where? 
Where are just like people, every single person in here, every single time there's a cut video, they literally just only have people who are like, yeah, I make uh, uh, erotic art in the 3D space with, uh, with exclusively C++. Like, or I am a DJ that uh, is, is deaf and has never listened to music. And, you know, that's my specialty is, is just, I just, that's what I do. I, I work off the vibrations that I'm feeling. Like, why isn't it? Why, why don't they have like, I want to know like one fucking person that's like, yeah, I'm, you know, I, I'm an accountant or yeah, I, I, I lug refrigerators for a living and my kink is erotic knife play. Every motherfucker in here has been the Chaz, okay? Like every single one. I make tiny clothes for ferrets and other small animals. Yeah, literally other small mammals, yeah. yeah. Do you like pain? <laughs> um, yeah. Like on a scale from one to 10, a solid 10. Okay. You said high school, you were basically like- I was like the outcast. The like lone I was wolf like, kind of joint. Not really, like I had my own like group of like artistic friends who mm -hmm. just kind of like didn't fit in with popular kids, I guess. I'm just thinking about this person in the back. Like that is the most, this is like the leftist skinhead, okay? This is the guy who's like, no, actually, they, this is the person who tells you like, no, actually, skinheads were originally anti-fascist. You know that that's the point. You know that that's what's going on there. Okay, look, look, do you not see, do you not see the, the yellow uh, shoelaces? They're not red. That means I'm one of the good skinheads and I'm reappropriating skinhead culture, okay? How about your hobbies? What do you like to do? Uh, I'm a big writer, but I'm also like into film and stuff. What kind of film? Yes, I know lace codes. I'm I'm calling it out. Red laces mean you're a fucking Nazi, and and I guess yellow means you're uh, an anti-fascist. I know, I know the I know the culture, and I also everything I said about skinheads is correct as well. I just I know I know that the it's just like just because I know it doesn't mean you know. Uh, we just filmed a horror one, so that was pretty cool. If you were going on Pornhub right now. Okay. What is the category that you will go to? Squirting videos. <laughs> that's not bad. Though. I just I recently mean, discovered it. That's what I'm, I'm, not, I'm not judging. Those are cool. I like those. Just based on those answers, it really has nothing to do with what they look like. Electric play. I am gonna take a guess that you're into knife play. Excitement of being in a horror movie. Knife play. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. How are good. you? Good. I love the black lipstick. And I love your hair. Thank you. How experienced are you with King Play? I've been part of the BDSM community for about 15 years. Oh, damn. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, my God. Do you like being choked or choking? Yes. Both? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm going to go with Pet Play. You can just uh, pass that over. Yeah. The three earrings are a vibe. No, they are. Yeah, you're definitely pet play. You hear that? I'm giving you electric play. You look like you might like low-key be dominant and you might want to be in control of the possibility of torturing somebody. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Next. Izzy, what do you have left? I have making out, asphyxiation, and pregnancy, and it's about to get really weird really quick. I just, the pregnancy <laughs> one's freaking me out, man. I do have one more on my list that I'm trying to knock out. The pregnancy kink. What is I feel like cut videos are designed in a way that, like, if you show it to some fucking uh, dude who's, like a, like, a delivery driver working in, I don't know, Ohio, they watch this and immediately, uh, immediately go into shock. Like they design it in a way where it's like, if you, if you are an HVAC specialist living in Ohio, you watch a video for like three and a half seconds and it kills you. It automatically, it zaps your brain. It lobotomizes you. You basically are just like, Ugh. like there's like spittle coming out of your fucking mouth. This is how, <laughs> this is how Republicans think or Fox News thinks America is, okay? This is how, like, they think every leftist is. What's your sexuality? Gayer than <laughs> New York. Okay, all right, word, okay. What do you want my neck? I like it. Is it chokeable? <laughs> <laughs> Does your kink get in the way of finding a partner? Not romantically, it gets in the way sometimes sexually. Does it come up all the time, or do you have Knife to, like, play. tell them uh, first before you, like, 
get for Nice play. Like it's kind of a must for me. If this doesn't happen, then I'm like I cannot. Oh wow, that. okay. Yeah. You know what you really want. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go with electric play. Cool. What would you rate yourself as a kisser? Like on a scale of one to ten? Nine or ten? That's actually like hella high. What Bro, this is it, there's no way I have no idea what anyone's into except for the first one. Uh because of the choker, I assume it's a uh, pet play. But that's it, like there I there is no context uh, clues like they they have how they all look like they could be into everything my gender neutral uh identifier is off the charts right now like i i am in an effort not to deliberately in an effort to to be as considerate as possible i'm just like throwing they thems left and right okay like i have no idea what's going on they they all look like they're into all of it they could be into literally all of the things, okay? Every single one of the things they could be into. And that's the multiple they, not the singular they. I'm saying, like, they all look like they would be into all of those things combined. I have no fucking idea. What do you rate yourself? Oh, I, I'm a 10. I know I'm a 10. Yeah. Where do you meet people that you like to do kinky things with? Grinder. Okay. Tender. Okay. I'm gonna go with making out for you because you're not meeting like pregnant women on Grinder, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, style. I mean, let's do the thing. Yeah, we can do it. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna assume gay just because of the okay. the because the... only gay people like rainbows. No, but a lot more gay people are promoting not promoting, but they're I'm promoting being gay. No, you're not promoting. <laughs> <me. laughs> yeah, I don't see a lot of straight people like openly wearing rainbows as much. Yeah. I'll okay. say that. All right, all right. Do you like pain? I love giving it. Okay. I don't really like receiving it. Well, that is concerning. <laughs> well, that's really important. Okay, that is, there you go. Yeah. I don't think that your kink is pregnancy. Okay. I also don't think that her kink is pregnancy. Between what I got left, it means I got something wrong. You got two choices left, and I'm leaning towards making out. Okay. It's gonna be making out. You want them to lay on you, Loose, and then you yeah, kind of lay me handle. down. And, yeah. yeah, and take advantage yeah. of you, exactly. Hi. All right. Um. Damn, you're gonna get pregnancy. <laughs> All I have left is asphyxiation. You have a very nice neck. Do you do you like pain? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, meow. You guys are freaky. Yeah. <laughs> Where would you grab me? Can I touch you? Absolutely. Oh, okay. I'll focus on this maybe. Oh, this is her king for sure. That was hot. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing later? Um, <laughs> Have you ever been with anybody who's pregnant? Not that I know of. Have you ever been pregnant? No. <laughs> um, I don't think pregnancy is going to be your kink, but we're going with pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I just have no idea. To be fair though, like, she's the, she's like too normal, okay? And even she, I just realized like she sticks out too for being too normal, so maybe her kink is, I think that's making out. Uh, knife play. Pregnancy. I don't know. I'm making it up. Pet play. I don't know. Thank you. I learned a lot today. With a show of hands, who did Izzy guess correctly? Take a look. Oh, shit. Okay. What? Okay. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got knife play and pet play. All right, so I guessed yeah. pet play. Yep, you were right. And I was right. Yeah. You got the collar situation. You have a bunch of pets on your shirt. I should have <laughs> really paid attention. So what inspires you to do pet play? Part of it is the headspace. Since I'm into being the pet with someone, like I mostly do it with my girlfriend. When we're in bed, she'll have like a collar and leash on me and... Have you ever worn like a furry suit when you're doing the pet play? I've never worn a fursuit during pet play. Those are expensive. I don't want bodily fluids on that. Huh? I do have a fursuit. Is it right <laughs> Do you want to put it on? Um, <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> I don't want to be a good furry. Enjoy it, I guess. <laughs> you want to try the first suit? Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, but what is I would that like laugh? To see it on you. So do you have a full outfit in this, or just that? I have this, and then the. Wait, why is Chad in emo mode? What happened? The paws and the tail. Does the tail clip on, or does it stick in? Oh, oh my god. god! That's a real question. It hooks on a belt. Okay. 
city changes. That's a good place. question. Like, I, I go to prairie ponds. Yeah, I do. Okay. I initially thought pet play was like your legit pet being involved. So. Oh no 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 yeah. no. Yeah. What exactly is pet play? I typically only do it with like my partners. One person in like the owner position and one mm -hmm. person in the pet position. Okay. Like, I mean, yeah. You there are a lot of other kinks I'll engage in, and like friends with benefits stuff, but pet play I got like no. Nope, so that's exclusive. Hers. Yeah, that's okay, exclusive. Okay, word, word, word. Okay, what did I say? Shock play. Okay, and that was wrong. Yes. So knife play. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Is there blood or is it just knife yeah, play? Yeah, so that's a really good question. It's like, you don't need to like physically cut someone for it to be considered knife play. Like, you can just kind of like run it along them or like rip your shirt off with it. This turns you on. Like, if someone like came at me with a knife and just like sliced my shirt open. Like a stranger. No, I would never like do edge play with just like a hookup or someone that I haven't really known that well. It needs yeah. to be someone that I like oh my can God, trust. It's terrifying. Know, just someone, like raising it along you. No, wait, that's kind of hard. Yeah. So wait a minute. Like, how many what? times have you done this knife play? Once or twice. Kind of like a thing that I'm saving for kind of the right person. So if you like see a knife in a kitchen, somebody's like slicing some veggies, you're like, yeah. no. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, maybe. I think it depends on the context. That's passionate. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, love that. <laughs> I'd be into that. So I was completely wrong. My kink is electrical play. Oh, okay. This is what I'm most curious about because I feel like I would blow <laughs> be really into this. What I have today is a violent wand. It deals with a current on like your skin. So you don't have current going through your body. Um, that's usually like a TENS unit. I've seen those used for kink play. Not something that I've tried yet. Would you like to see yes. it? Yes. Oh, then we ought to use it. it looks like a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear it immediately when I turn it on. Is she getting off right now? I love that. <laughs> you can hear it. Like, I promise, like, that doesn't hurt. It just feels like. You wanna feel it? <laughs> I mean, why not? I got metal on me. I'm not gonna, like, burn it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's not crazy. It's really nice because you can choose the kind of sensation. If you just kind of want to tickle someone with it, you can. Uh huh. It goes higher? Oh, it goes. So yeah, sure, uh, totally. Uh, Let's go the highest. It is pretty intense. Feels like when a tattoo needle first touches you. Well, I have some attachments that people said feel like knives cutting on them. Yeah, oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute! <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Now it's the fun part. I got y'all right. Okay. <laughs> so your kink is making out. Yes. I need to know what that means. Thought we all like to make out. I didn't realize that was like a kink. I'm talking long makeout sessions. Oh, okay. Like I can go like three, four hours. What? Damn. Do you have like a chapstick break? Like I just. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it can what? get really tiring sometimes. For me, it's more of a like the connection with the person uh -huh. rather than like be like. Actually. That's why I like yeah. making out. I love making out because I love. Bro, that's crazy. It's like you you literally turn something that's like a, a introductory fundamental part of just like hooking up and turn it into like something wild. You know what I mean? Four hours, like what the fuck, bro? You are so lip hungry. Love the connection. It's way more intimate than like penetration. Like you'd be happy if it just like the date ended in just that. You're cool with that. Yeah, I've hit climax with it. So. Oh, word. Yeah. Okay. I did not expect what? that. What? Right, word. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah, man. They make out with my penis. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean climax with it? Oh, God. <laughs> Next question. Why did you say New York over San Francisco? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're you're, just... <laughs> you're kind of right on that one. Yeah, I, I'm just curious. Yeah. Uh, New York just came to my mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And next, let's talk about it because I'm most curious about the pregnancy one. Um, what do you want to know about it? What's the deal? I mean, I like pregnant people. No, I get that, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious, like, what that entails. When I'm around someone who's like showing pregnant, I tongue like just bleh. like literally, it's already happening just thinking about it. That's f oh my god, that's weird. That's odd. That's odd. That's odd. That's odd. That ain't all right. That's a little weird. That's, that's, I mean, come on. That's odd, man. That's definitely odd. That's an odd thing, okay? Don't kink shame. I mean, 
fucking yeah, wild. It's, it's, I really it's think. Nuts. Um, have you talked to a therapist about this? Not even in a bad <laughs> way, but okay. Yeah, yeah. I talked okay. to all of my okay. therapists about this. Word. When did you know you were into this? I would say I discovered a lot of my kinks around like my late teens, so like 15, 16, 17. So when you were like, yeah, what the fuck? You were 15. You were like, damn, that's a pregnant mommy. I love that. I'm trying to hit that. Like, what the fuck? 16, you're actively looking for pregnant women to fuck? No. When I would see someone pregnant, it made me feel that tingle inside, like that excitement. And stronger than most things. I have a daughter. When my girl was pregnant, I think there was more times that I was like looking at her pregnant where I was like, damn, you are like kind of sexy. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't make me want to like, you know, smash or nothing like that, but it was sure. like, I, she like looked really, kid. yeah, really good, beautiful, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Damn, I might yeah. have this kink. Like, you're about to have a second kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want kids. I absolutely do not want kids. Fascinating. Yeah. What the fuck? So he just wants to fuck pregnant ladies? What the fuck? Jail, that is your child? Guys, the dude meant the mother, his wife, the mother of his child when she was pregnant. What the fuck is wrong with you, chat? No, he's not talking about his fucking daughter. First of all, he's like maximum 30. How old do you think his daughter is? And it wasn't one guy. Don't even say one guy. That was like chat universally and collectively. Freaking the fuck out, dude. Yeah, no. It's, it's the process that really does it for me. And they're like, like I've gone through a lot of trauma and, and therapy. And mm -hmm. like, it would be a child raising a child. Do you like sex with pregnant people? Um, I would assume so. I've huh. never done it. Bro, oh, yeah. it's fun. It's good. I mean, I can only imagine. Yeah. I don't know how to tell you to try I've, I've it. I've been so, yeah. trying to try it. I've been it's, trying to try yeah. it. You gotta like get somebody's consent mm -hmm. and that's somebody else's kid and then right. you're sticking your thing by the kid. Yeah, that might be kind of weird. Well, and so I mean like, I'm not monogamous. Like it's like, you know, partners and you know, nobody owns anybody. So mm -hmm. to me, it's like, you know, whatever. Hello, Miss Josie. <laughs> I misjudged you and I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. I'm a fixation. Okay. How did you find out that you were into that? Dude, I swear to God, that's, I mean, I didn't make any good predictions in this one. Let's be real, except for the pet play one, obviously. But like, I, and, and I think, did I say that the, 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 the goth uh, black lady back there was in a electricity? Anyway, I have made, I have said this before. I've said this before, but like, I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people like asphyxiation. Obviously, consent is the most important factor here. Always ask, you know, don't, don't take this sort of thing lightly. But I think that it's like probably one of the more normie kinks. And I know that because like, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm the most vanilla Dom person on the planet, as we know. I did that BDSM kink thing. And like, Choking is like literally just a, a part of the basic package, straight up. I got into a friends with benefits situation. We decided to explore our sexuality and he kind of just did it by accident and I was like, I like that, do it again. Yeah. Oh, this is a lot deeper than just a simple choke during. This is like- Yeah, uh, mind if I show you how it is? I guess, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. I promise I won't hurt you, like, mm -hmm. okay. So you start to pain. Right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> She's an assassin. <laughs> Straight women love it because sleeping with men is boring. The thought of death makes it worth it. Wait, what the fuck? That's such a wild take. You about to just be like, wow! How far have you taken it before? I want to feel pain. I kind of have like a safe move that I'll tap the person's chest. Okay. But I want to literally grasp for air. Is it a necessary part? Like, do you have to have that to get off? Do you have to have that for it to be good and all that kind of stuff? I prefer to have it every single time, but not- She's scaring me. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she speaks- really I think that's the most normie kink in there other than the making out. Actually, the making out kink is even uh, more- uh, The making out kink is even less normie because like, like you're making out for four hours. Soft, but like how she did that and how she's like, <laughs> The intense eye contact, like if she wanted to, she could really end my shit. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, but whatever. Anyway. Do you like choking people too, or do you only like being yes. choking yourself? I like both, but I found that most men don't like receiving it. They just oh. want to yes. give. Why do you think most men don't like receiving it? They're pussies. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Agreed. Nothing else like around. I've done it. I don't like it at all.
I do not like I do not like being submissive even a little bit. I, I do not I do not like getting choked. I hate it. It's just no, don't even say your pussy's like if I was a pussy, I wouldn't have tried it. It just does not I don't like it. Like it doesn't do it for me. Being dominated doesn't do it for me at all. It's just like immediately it turns me off. On your neck? No. Just a hand. Yeah, just for now. Nice meeting you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was gonna stick with me for a minute. That was exciting. I didn't realize how into almost all of them were, except for like two. Thank you. That was crazy. I get it, I prefer being the sub and doming seems weird to me from that perspective. What if it's lean beef patty? No, doesn't matter. I don't like getting scratched. I just don't like it. I don't like any of it.